What's up you guys? Today, Skid is gonna get a bath. And in the process of us washing the dirt off of this dog, I'm gonna tell you the whole story on how I found him and how I saved his life twice. Scared of that water, boy. Hell yeah, he's scared. Come on, Skid. Come, come, come. There you go. We got him warmed up. Good boy. That's a good boy, Papa. So basically, I was on my way to work, and you know, I've never been the type to like bring home animals. It's not my thing. But while I was driving, I saw a skid running through the street. I was like, damn. First thing I thought was like, what a beautiful dog, right? And then I thought to myself, you know. Wow, this dog is gonna get run over if I don't like get out and do something. So I decided, let me get out and like call the dog over real quick and just see if he comes up to me. So I pull over, I jump out of the truck and I start trying to like coax him over and call him and he's like very skittish. Finally, after like, you know, trying to convince him for a while, bringing out like a glazed donut and a bottle of water, I got him all the way over to where I was at. So when he finally comes up to me, I notice that he's got a bunch of like bite marks and he's tore up and you know, I don't know for sure because he couldn't tell me. <laughs> but I mean, my opinion is he was probably a bait dog. Like basically like they fight pit bulls and stuff and like they get like a nice dog and they use the nice dog to toughen up the mean dogs. Skid may have been a bait dog and he escaped. I picked him up, I put him in the truck, brought him home. I bathed him and you know, it was history ever since. I've had Skid now for almost two years. Yeah, he cold. He looks nice and clean. So I've been traveling a lot lately, as you guys have seen, like trying to just really like push this music and do what I'm doing and give you guys good content. So a couple weeks ago, I'm in Texas Skid escaped and ran away Friday. My dad didn't want to tell me. I don't know what he was thinking, but Monday I'm about to board the airplane and he decided that that was a good time to tell me that the dog ran away right before I got on a plane for four hours. Great thinking, Pops. So I get on the plane and I'm obviously like pissed off and thinking about my dog. So. I turned to social media. I was really upset, I tweeted about it. I said, Skid ran away while I was in Texas with a broken heart. And my fans, they felt my pain. Because Skid is always in my Snapchats, he's always in the background of my broadcast. You know, now he's in my YouTube videos. And I get a message on Twitter from one of my fans. And they sent me a flyer. They made a flyer. Cause I was like, you know, I was definitely gonna go like pepper the entire neighborhood with flyers and make sure that I found my dog the next morning. A couple hours later, the same fan that was generous and kind enough to make me this amazing flyer, hits me up again. I live in Miami, Dade. This fan happens to live all the way in California, okay? So she ends up going and scouring the internet for hours and gets to the animal shelter. The animal shelter has 473 dogs at the moment. And only 140 of them have pictures up on the internet. So she's scouring and scouring and on the 21st page, she found Skid. I go to pick him up the next morning and I had two options. I could pick him up intact well, of course I want to pick up my dog intact, right? What the hell does that even mean? Intact means with his balls. So when they scooped him up, apparently he had heartworms, so he was gonna die if he didn't run away. So everything worked out perfectly for a reason. So they treated him for his heartworms, they vaccinated him, they gave him his um, rabies vaccination, they put a chip in him, they did all kinds of things for him. And if I wanted to pick him up, without neutering him, it's gonna be $600. 
but if I let them neuter him, $65. Well, Skid, you know I love you. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, but I had to make that decision for your own good, okay? So yeah, we got him neutered. And you know, I don't even think he noticed. I was really wigged out because I'm a guy and I'm thinking like, damn, I'm gonna cut my dog's balls off. That's just a real primitive way of thinking about it. He's a dog, the population is already high. You don't want these dogs reproducing like that out here because you just can't find enough homes for them. So it was the right thing to do. He got neutered and I think he learned his lesson about running away. So now I saved your ass twice. Three strikes and you're out. So don't run away again. We already cut off your balls. There's not much more we can do for you. Now we got a clean, dirty dog. He'll be dirty in about 30 minutes. There's no denying that a hose to the face sucks. There's only one way to find out. 